In 2004, UK developer Creative Assembly created Rome Total War, a PC strategy game that was released to huge critical acclaim. Fast forward to 2012 and the developer is once again revisiting Roman history with Total War Rome 2. But with a release not due until 2013, there's a long wait until eager fans can get their hands on the game. In the meantime though, how about a look at the game in action? We sat down with James Russell from Creative Assembly for an exclusive first ever look at the battle gameplay from the new Total War Rome 2. Two years have passed and the walls of Carthage still stand and they will continue to stand while Rome relies on ineffective commanders and a rabble of broken men. We are wasting coin and men on a futile... Rome must command respect. We must command respect. Respect will not feed Rome's people. Honored senators, I move that we end the siege of Carthage and turn to civic matters. Senators! Senators! The time has come to end this war. That much is true. But end it with blood and fury. And glory for what we're showing here is part of the siege of Carthage in, in 146 BC. Um, the city had been under siege for several years, and we're going to see old Scipio's grandson, the young consul Scipio Aemilianus, uh, command the final assault on Carthage. Consul, the fleet is ready. Burn the city, Tiberius. No prisoners. No mercy. Kill them all! Yes, Consul! Forward! You know, we've got Scipio here commanding the Roman fleet approaching the beach. So you can see there the huge scale of the, of the fleet and the fact that we've got um, multiple ships per unit, which actually which really adds to the sense of scale. Um, and here's the Roman fleet approaching the beach. So this, this really showcases a new battle type, which is a combined battle. Um, so you've got naval forces and land forces in the same battlefield. But not only that, you see um, the men on the ship disembark to fight on land. And so here they're approaching the, approaching the beach and they're going to disembark to join, this, join the siege. And the c combined battles really add a, a load of gameplay in terms of, you know, cat and mouse around the coast and the defense of, um, of the beach versus the defense of the city. And we're really experimenting with different ways to make that gameplay work really, really well. So here you see the men, the guys disembarking onto the beach. This is, you know, what we're trying to achieve here is get a real sense of almost the saving Private Ryan of the ancient world. So we really want to get, get the camera down and, and, and get that sense, of a darker, that, that darker vision of war where you really make the, this human scale of, of, of battle. Um, come alive, and, and, and it's, part, it's part of that darker vision of war, a more gritty, realistic feel to the, to the way the battles work. Here you can see the shipborne artillery. Um, as part of another feature of combined battles, obviously you can have you know, artillery on ships as well as on land, and the, these, 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 this, these uh, artillery pieces on the ships bombarding the city. So as I said, huge epic city environment there because this is the capital city of, of your great enemy here. And we really want to make the city feel uh, like it's been under siege for several years. So it's, it's a kind of darker view of, of, of siege war. It's not, you know, a kind of fresh city that we've had before. It's, 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 it's damaged, it's worn, it's dark, it's, it's smoking. It's, we, we want to make this approach feel apocalyptic. This, this approach to the, to, to the final battle for, your great, for one of your great enemies, we want it to feel apocalyptic. So, you know, we've got these siege towers here. They're in place because, as I said, the siege, the siege had been underway for several years. But this is, this is the final assault from a navy. So we're really breaking down the barriers between armies and navies. And that's obviously got a huge impact on, on the campaign map as well, because it means that navies here can attack cities.
this is the tactical view, uh, the, the tactical overview. It really helps the player orient themselves in these larger city environments. Um, we don't want the player to be controlling the game from this, from this perspective. It's really an orientation tool. We want the player to be able to understand what kinds of... Because there are very specific relationships yeah. in terms of, you know, one particular unit might be strong against another unit, but not against the third type of unit. We want the player to understand what's going on on the battlefield. We want the player, particularly in terms of, you know, the spatial awareness uh, we, we want the player to be able to understand what's going on and, 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 and see threats and where they're coming from, but um, absolutely not to control the battle from that perspective. So this is an example of um, our unit camera, and we're really experimenting with, with ways to get the player um, down into the action. Prepare for battle, men. Remember, we fight for Rome! Uh, but it's part of humanizing the the combat and really bringing out the the idea that these these thousands and thousands of men each one is an individual fighting his guts out and so we've got things like facial animations emotional interactions between men um, that really helps um, bring out that that, that sense of, of warfare at the human scale as well as the grand scale this huge city obviously has multiple capture points. That's something we haven't we haven't had before. Where previously um, you'd have you'd have a core battle for a central plaza, but Carthage here has several different capture points, and that means that the gameplay is completely different inside the city. You've got a much better sort of sense of cat and mouse because you've got you've got a you've got a reason to have multiple breaches so that you can capture different points. The defender isn't just incentivized after a breach is made to pull back into the plaza and you, 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 know, you get this kind of mosh pit. No, in, instead we've got real cat and mouse but gameplay. You've got to defend multiple points. The attacker can do lots of different things. They can, they can, they can concentrate on one point or move to another when they sense weakness. Here you see the, um, the Roman fleet coming into the Carthaginian harbour. Um, again, you know, the whole combined battles adds to that richness in terms of, certainly in terms of a coastal city. You know, in Shogun, you've got individual samurais seeking out other samurais, and they have this sort of elegant swordplay. But in, in, in the Roman era, we really want to get a sense of that kind of brutal, mechanistic group combat. You know, particularly for the, the Roman legions, uh, you know, that kind of meat grinder style, that mechanized style. We really want to get a greater sense of sort of visceral impact. So I think, it, yeah, it's part of making the game feel more visceral and, and have a slightly darker, grittier feel, certainly in terms of the battlefield. The, the, the Total War engine, you know, over the years we've we've learned so much about how to how to get um, a real uh, really optimize the performance in terms of being able to deal with thousands and thousands of men on screen at once, and the fact that when you zoom in you get a huge amount of huge amount of detail. Um, but we also want to make sure that the game, as well as taking advantage of the best that the most powerful machines have to offer, we, we, we also want to make sure that you know, the game is playable on, on, on lower-end machines too. So our, our goal is to make sure that the game has the same minimum spec as Shogun 2. Now, we're, not, you know, we're going to do everything we can to try and achieve that. We can't guarantee it, but that, that is what we're trying to achieve. We're really pushing the, the, look, the, the look of the game, but this is super, super early code. We're way, way pre-alpha, and what that means is there's loads of features, not just in terms of the graphics, but also in terms of the combat and the animations that actually aren't in the game yet. So the, the final game's actually gonna look way, way better than this. You know, we're working our guts out on this game, and we're, we're determined to make it the best Total War game ever. Um, we've got a huge budget for the game, about 40% bigger than anything we've done before, so we're absolutely determined to make it the most epic Total War title ever. Um, the bad news is we're not going to be releasing until um, the second half of 2013, so next, late next year.